in this video I'm going to show you how to install a new mailbox like this one. Hey folks, Kevin here with Kev's Castle and CastleRemodel.com. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. Now let's get started. Right here I am unboxing the Mailboss 7526. It's a locking mailbox, which means that we can go away for a few days and not have to worry about any of our friends or family members picking up our mail and going through all that hassle. We can just let it sit right there in the mailbox without worrying about it overfilling because this is a large mailbox. We also got the Mailboss 7121 in-ground post. It is compatible with this mailbox, which means that it has screw holes that line up and all the screws come included. I will put links in the description down below if you want to take a look at any of the parts that I'm using or any of my tools as well. I'm going to measure the distance from the door to where the center of the post will be to find out so it's about nine inches. We want this door to be six to eight inches from the curb. So add an additional nine inches to find out where the center of the post is going to be. Um, so that would be 17 inches, 15 to 17 inches from the curb. I will be using a tape measure to measure the location of the hole. I have a level to make sure that the post will be uh, level vertically. I also got two bags of Quickrete fast setting cement. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use both bags. It says that it sets in 20 to 40 minutes. I might give it a little more time just to make sure that it's fully uh, ready for me to mount the mailbox. I'll be using this post, post hole digger, but I also have a shovel in case if I need to and I have two wooden uh, boards that I'm going to be using to prop up the post after it's uh, set in the concrete to keep it sta stable as it dries. I will show you more about that when we get to that point. Now I'm measuring to try to find the proper location for the hole. As I said before, I want it to be about 17 inches back from the outside edge of the curb. I'm using this board just to briefly mark the location of the hole before I start digging. Once you know what location you want the hole at, you will want to use the post hole digger. If you don't have one, you can use the shovel at this point. I just find having a post hole digger around is really handy. Break the soil to loosen it up and then just pull it out and put it off to the side. I am not going to make you sit through my digging this entire hole, so I will fast forward and we will see what the next step is. Once you think you have the hole at the correct depth, use a board and your tape measure to get an accurate measurement of how deep it is. There is a certain regulation that the USPS wants us to have. I have an image here on the screen, but if you would like a more in-depth look at what, that, what this process exactly entails, click on the blog link down below at castleremodel.com. Now I'm holding the post up and using the level and a tape measure to get an accurate measurement from the surface of the street to the top of the post. But bear in mind that there is another six and a half inches from the top of the post to where the mail slot actually is. It turns out that I actually dug the hole too deep. So I am putting a little more dirt back in and just tamping it down as I go. Um, this process takes a little guessing and checking. It's okay for you to not get it correct the first time. Just take your time and as you go about it, make sure you are being accurate with your measurements. 
you want the hole to be at least three times wider than the width of the post that you're using. You also want to make sure that the center of the hole is the proper distance from the curb that you're searching for. After this, I am opening up the first bag of concrete and getting it ready to pour in. I recommend pouring the concrete from all sides of the hole. As you can see here, I poured too much from one side without having any on the other side to hold the post up and the concrete just pushed it right over. You want the top of the concrete inside the hole to be below the surface level of the dirt. This will allow you to put a little bit of soil on top so that it, it looks nice and clean afterwards. Now I'm using a stick to push some of the water down and kind of stir up the concrete lightly. I'm not going too deep with the stick because I don't want to disturb the, the position of the post too much. Now it's time to check the post to make sure it's level. To do this, you want to hold the level up to two different sides of the post and make sure it's perfectly level. Since this post is level, I am using these two boards and some clamps to hold it up so that the concrete can dry and nothing bumps into it or the wind doesn't blow it over. The boards were cut at 45 degree angles on the edge just because I think that that's going to help, the, help them grip a little better and hold them steady. Check for level one more time. I decided to let the concrete dry overnight. So just to be absolutely sure, even though it says 20 to 40 minutes, I came back out here after about an hour and it still seemed a little wet on top. So it should be fully dry. Um, we are going to make sure it stayed level and then take the clamps off and install the box on top. Both sides are still level. After I removed all four bolts from the top of the post, I hand tightened the bolts through the mailbox, making sure that all of them get started by hand before I use the wrench. And it has this plastic liner that you put on the so that the screws will not touch the mail and it's just a smooth plastic surface for everything in there. Um, there's one way to put it because there are these bumps that stick up where the screw heads are. Um, you want that facing up. So you want those to be poking up, not this way where they're poking down. So I'll put them poking up. And there you have it. Installing a new mailbox is just that easy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this. Make sure you check out the blog at castleremodel.com as well for more additional content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>